you can start in child's pose. And please do take care of yourself. Do what you need to do. I'd recommend knees being a little bit apart so you've got space for the breath to pour into the body. And you could take any child's pose that works for you. I'm just up because I need to speak, but I'd recommend being down. If your forehead can't reach the floor, you could build it up with the hands or a block. And just allowing your breath to start to lengthen. And even though we're going into a power flow, that, and it may be a little quicker, that you still want to luxuriate with the breath, not be in a hurry at all with your breath. So let the breath pour into the belly. And like a canister being filled, filling up to the collarbones and exhaling and emptying out from collarbones to belly. And a few more breaths like this. Just arriving, honoring yourself for showing up. Good on you. Pat on the back, pat on the back. And just show up in this practice at whatever level is right for you. So always plenty of variations. We've all got little niggles going on um, with our bodies. Well, many of us. And this is the the road that we take of modifying, listening in, tuning in, seeing what's right in this moment for us, for this body, for this moment. So you can then rise up to hands and knees. And on hands and knees, we're going to begin with the, um, this contralateral movement. So as you inhale, you can stretch the right arm forward and the left leg back, find that fullest expression and then exhaling slowly down. Inhaling, left arm, right leg, and exhaling down. Inhaling, opposite, and exhale. And you'll find that zenith. Inhale, rising to a peak and exhaling down. And again, that luxuriating, so not rushing through any part of it. Sometimes we rush to finish or rush to get there. Enjoy it all, enjoy the journey. So for those of you wanting uh, something more now, you could even hover the knees here as close to the floor as possible. It's going to come into a little bit of a, a balance as well. And just know later on, we're going to be doing this movement in plank pose. And that may or may not be appropriate for you. But just know that you can always return to this hands and knees position as well. Excellent. And then from here, you can sit back onto the heels and go backs of the hands onto each other to stretch out through the wrists. And then circling the wrists around a few times and press into the shins, rise up. Kneeling, reach the palms to touch overhead and exhale like a swan dive. Plant the hands and tuck the toes. Press yourself back into downward facing dog. And downward facing dog, you might like to do a little heel press. So walking the dog, not running the dog. So sometimes in power, we can get a bit too uh, rushed. All right, so then let's inhale the right leg smoothly to the sky and exhale the foot to the hand. So just a continuous flow here, inhaling to a crescent position, Anjaniasana and exhaling hands either side of the foot. Inhale back into your downward facing dog and exhale ground the heels here. Inhale the left leg to the sky 
and exhaling, stepping forward, melt the back knee to the floor, inhale again, rise to that zenith, that height and exhaling, melting back down. Inhale back into your plank, uh, into down dog and exhale, melt the heels down. Inhale, stretch the right leg to the sky, adding in a tiger curl. So exhale, rounding through the back. Inhale, stretching up and back. And exhale, the foot to the hands. So your choice, back knee lifted or leg straight, uh, sorry, back knee down or up. Inhale. That was a trick one, wasn't it? Exhale, melting the hands down. This time, step back into plank pose and just pausing here for a moment. And then press the earth away from you. Exhale, slowly down all the way onto the earth. So either taking a sphinx pose or rise up into a cobra. So cobra elbows are bent and hips stay down. And exhaling, melt the forehead back onto the earth. Inhale, rise up into a full plank and exhale to downward facing. Inhale, the left leg to the sky. And exhale, round as you come forward, touch nose and knee. Inhale, again, reach that zenith, no hurry. And exhale, the foot forward. Again, yogi's choice with the back knee. Inhaling to stretch the arms up and exhale to the earth. Inhale into a plank position. And then let's um, take the feet a little wider, connect into your midline, and then again, lift the right arm and left leg. And you could of course do this with the knees on the floor. Just twice to each side. And then lowering yourself down. Feel free to take a chaturanga and up dog if you wanted to. I'm going to stick with cobra for a moment. Milk this opening through the thoracic, through the heart space. And exhaling to the earth. Inhale, rise up full or a half push up. And back to downward facing. So from here, then step or jump your feet forward. Feel free to handstand forward. Lift halfway up so you're at the front of the mat. And exhaling, folding chest to the thighs. Rise up, a reverse swan dive. Let the palms touch overhead. And exhale straight down into chair pose. Utkatasana, which as I said, it's actually the Sanskrit is powerful pose or mighty pose. Feel yourself in the shape of a lightning bolt here and embody that power of lightning striking such power, such intensity. And then press through the feet, inhale and rise up. Exhale, fold yourself forward and down. Inhale to lift halfway up. Exhale the right leg back and coming into this Anjaniyasana again. Inhale to lift. Exhale, winged warrior. We'll do this three times, inhaling. Up and exhaling, tipping forward. So crown and back heel align and feel that same lightning bolt energy through the body and then if you'd like to launch forward virabhadrasana three feel free to extend the arms forward as well brighten through that back leg so more life in that back leg as well and then bend through the standing leg and stepping back like nothing even happened now you can then take the uh, both hands down and we'll step back into plank pose, but with the left leg lifted. And keep the left leg lifted as you pivot over into side plank on the right hand and right foot. And of course you can have the knee down. Again, that same power and strength. 
release down, lower all the way down. Again, optional chaturanga and up dog if you'd like to do that. Add in a double dip if you'd like. You might even go back for more. So inhale forward into plank or just rest in child's pose. Exhale, shoulders to elbow height. Do the little slide back and roll over the toes to rise up into upward facing. So the arms are vertical and exhale back, back into downward facing. Take an inhale and stretch the right leg to the sky. Exhale, rounding through the back. Tiger curl. Inhale, stretching up and back. And then stepping forward. Again, this uh, crescent position to winged warrior. Three times, exhale. Inhale to lift. So brighten through that back leg some more. Bring energy that, what does power mean to you? Maybe it's like personal power or empowerment. So third one, we stay here and then launch forward. Maybe arms forward, maybe keeping the arms back. As best you can, lowering the left hip down. And maybe that happens via bending the right knee. Step lightly back, a silent clap as the arms reach overhead, rejoicing and exhaling, hands onto the earth. Inhale to step forward, lifting halfway up and exhale, fold yourself in. Come on up through a reverse swan dive, palms touch overhead and exhale to namaste. And then taking power pose. So hands onto the hips and lifting through the chest. Bit of Wonder Woman pose, maybe Superman pose. If you're more of a Marvel person, no problem. You can find your own powerful character here. So power, can you channel that lightning energy, that superpower? And then inhaling to sweep the arms overhead, we'll flow again, exhale and carry that power with you. Inhale to lift halfway up. And exhaling the left leg back this time, this time a Vera two flow. So turn the back heel in and down and coming out into your warrior two. Feel free to have a block in front of you if you wanted to. Uh, for Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale and take the arms up, hands to shoulder height, uh, shoulder width, and then exhale, tip forward, Parshvokanasana, the look mum, no hands version. Feel free to go elbow onto the knee there. And again, channel that lightning power through from the anchoring down through the back foot, through to the fingertips. And then at some point you can launch yourself out into Ardha Chandrasana or not, which is the great thing with yoga as well. Catching the back foot if you wanted to, and even hovering the bottom hand could be a, another challenge for yourself. If you want to step up, rise up, have that sense of empowerment via the postures. Okay, then from here you can release and step back, Vera two, and then cartwheeling the hands down. Step back into your plank pose, but with the left leg, pardon, it's the right leg lifted. And then transferring over into side plank, optional to keep the foot lifted or have the bottom knee down. 
and releasing down lower all the way to the earth rise up with an inhale and exhaling back down inhale through your full or half push up and back to downward facing nodding the head yes a few times Baby wagging the tail like an excited doggy, just knowing you've got this last little flow to go. And channeling that same strength, that same energy. Inhale the left leg to the sky. Exhale, tiger curl round, touch the nose and knee. Inhaling, stretching up and back. And exhale the foot forward to the hands. Turn the back heel down and coming on up into your Virabhadrasana two. Uh, on our left leg. Inhale to take the arms, hands to shoulder width apart. And exhale, engaging through the core and finding that one long line. Maybe you can see in the screen, see your alignment. Feel free to go elbow onto the knee. Take a few charging breaths here, grounding down as you exhale through the back foot, inhaling and getting longer, brighter. And then at some point, hand can come down, launching yourself forward. Ada Chandrasana and brightening through the back leg as well. Lift, extend, brighten to the crown. Maybe you're doing the Chapasana version, catching hold. Maybe hovering. Maybe you're taking Virabhadrasana four. It's a child's pose. Who knows? All right, so then stepping back and finding your Vera 2, cartwheel the hands down either side of the foot. Step yourself forward, lift and open, and exhaling to fold yourself in. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, hands down through Namaste. And yogi's choice, either hands onto the hips or arms alongside the body. And again, just this sense of empowerment, maybe reflecting where do you give your power away or where can you access more power? Where do you already have this sense of your own powerful nature and you can Sprinkle that into the areas that don't have it as much. I know when I saw the Wonder Woman movie, it was just, she's always shoulders really back. So make sure your shoulders are well back. Allowing the breath to settle. Maybe turning the power dial up or down as you need to as you prepare to go out into your day can we take a, a standing shavasana whether it's hands in namaste whether it's eyes closed or that soft drishti gaze and imagining yourself going through today with this great sense of personal power that you have awakened within you. And then wielding that power well for benefit. Wielding that power in a caring, nurturing way, both for yourself and for others. Blessings to you, my friends. Namaste. 
feel free to go about your day and go forth. Oh, look, I'm a red hot mess. <laughs> uh.